everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I thought today I'll start off another vlog. We're just relaxing at home today. Paul is off playing golf. I feel like every time I vlog he's playing golf but he is loving it at the moment and I'm really happy for him. It's a really good hobby to have. I love to be able to play golf. I feel like it's the perfect slow sport for us people that don't like high intensity exercise like me but I tried to have a swing and I just could not hit the ball. <laughs> it was a complete and utter fail so if you have any tips for me of how to actually hit a golf ball I'd love to hear them because I think it'd be a great hobby for me to take up with him. So me and Murphy are just having, he's looking at me when I said his name and he was like yes. <laughs> We're just having a nice slow morning so I I've just been relaxing this morning and then have got ready. I'm really, really on top of housework at the moment, which is a lovely feeling on a weekend. So I'm just gonna have a cup of tea and I'm gonna start a new book. I'll show you it. It's called The Secrets of Midwives. I've not started it yet, so I can't tell you how good it's been, but I have recently joined my local library and I am absolutely loving it. I've read two books so far. Um, the last one I read was by Jojo Moyes um, and it was called One Plus One. I loved it so much. I read it so quick and it had me in tears. It had me laughing, everything. So I'm really getting into reading at the moment. And the great thing is about a library is obviously it's a free hobby to have. So if you would like to get into reading and feel like you just don't quite get the motivation to do it, I really recommend trying. I have an app on my phone as well called Goodreads where you can see the reviews of other people and you can set yourself a little reading challenge. So my reading challenge for this year is to read 10 books which I know sounds quite small for some people but for me it's a, it would be a really good step forward so I recommend downloading that app. This isn't sponsored or anything, <laughs> not that I have a big enough channel to be sponsored by an app like that but it's yeah I just really recommend it. I think reading is the perfect hobby for slow living it really does force your mind to slow down and in a world where everything is filled with screen screen screens tv laptop phones just screens everywhere i really think it's beneficial just to stop save your eyes for a little bit and read and i really find it relaxes me like nothing else so yeah definitely recommend that so I'm gonna enjoy my cup of tea now I'm gonna start this book and then I'm gonna make myself a late brunch it's about 12 o'clock now and I've not been hungry all morning so I'll probably give it another half an hour hour or so and then I'll make a brunch and yeah just take you along with me with my day and maybe the weekend let's just see how it goes
Okay, so I've just put some baked oats in. I've seen loads of recipes for baked oats. I've tried them once before and they really didn't come out right, but I found this new recipe which includes like egg and baking powder. So it just like makes more sense for something that would be baked. So I thought I'd try again today. Um, so I will let you know how it turns out. I've got 25 minutes to wait. So while I'm waiting for them to cook, I thought I would just show you a few things I picked up from the charity shop recently. It's no secret I absolutely love charity shops. I try and get most of my clothes from there. This is a relatively new thing, so a lot of the things in my wardrobe are bought from new, but I'm trying to be a lot more sustainable with my clothing, clothing and fashion choices. Going forward, that is a goal I have, so I thought I'd show you some of the things I picked up from the charity shop the other week. So the first thing is this pink fleece. I never thought I would be a fleece girl, but since getting into gardening, they are just perfect. This is the Musto brand, which is something, I think it was made for royalty. So it has like a little tag on it and it says, by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen, manufacturers of outdoor clothing, Musto Limited, England. And then it has the Duke of Edinburgh on there as well. So I actually wore it on the day of of his funeral not on purpose just because we were going down to the coast where it's quite cold it was actually supposed to be our wedding day as well on the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral so we decided to go down to the coast to distract me because one I was upset about the funeral and I was also upset that it would have been our wedding day as well so Paul took me out to distract me and I ended up wearing this fleece so I just thought it was like a nice little I don't know, I'm a little bit sentimental like that. I, I like stuff like that. I know some people think it's a bit strange, but I don't. <laughs> so the next thing I got is this little cardigan. I love cardigans like this. It's got little holes in them for the spring, summer months for when you want a little bit more coverage and it's not quite hot enough to have your arms out and things. And I just find it really pretty. I know some people find these sort of cardigans old fashioned, but I personally think they're just really feminine and pretty and delicate. So I just got that. I think it was only about three pound. I find that in charity shops, something that's really easy to get is good cardigans um, that are still in really good quality. So this, there's nothing wrong with it. It's super soft as well, actually. So I picked that up as well. And then finally, the last thing I picked up is this summer top and it's originally from Monsoon. It's this really delicate sort of silky satiny fabric with some really nice details on it. I really like this um, detail as well. And then it has a tie waist, which is something I look for in my clothes. I find anything with a tie waist or that comes in at the waist on my figure personally is a lot more flattering so I always try and buy something with a tie waist it's really good as well for anything like weight fluctuations as you know I've lost quite a bit of weight over the last year and a lot of my clothes they're still perfectly fine um, because I just tighten it tighter <laughs> and then obviously if I gain weight and go through different stages of my life as well it just means that I'm not changing my clothes as I go through different phases of life I am trying to be a lot more sustainable with my clothes and wear things for longer and keep things for years and fix them and get things secondhand and things like that. So I thought I'd show you as well the at the bottom of this is so pretty. They've got nice like what is it called? Um scalloped edging. <laughs> I'm probably just making that up. Scallop edging, I think, actually means something else. But anyway, they are the things I got from the charity shop. So if you haven't been to your local charity shop recently, definitely go down, pop in, because they will have had a lot of people doing clear outs um, during this second lockdown. So I think it's a really nice thing to go and do. Get yourself something nice and new and also support your local charity shops as well.
So update on the oats, I really enjoyed that recipe. It's the first recipe I actually have enjoyed of baked oats. So I will leave it in the description below in case you wanna make it for yourself. It's just oats, banana, um, egg, what else? Sweetener, baking powder, and a little bit of milk, but I'll leave it all and the amounts and stuff in the description below. So I'm just going to have a, one of my multivitamin gummies. I'm such a child. I have tried to get into having a multivitamin a day for a while and the ones that are tablet forms, I do it for about a week and then I kind of just fall off. So I've bought myself some gummies like the child I am, but I have stuck to it now for a long time. I have one a day and is it just good way for me to know that I'm getting my nutrition in because especially while you're dieting, I've definitely been eating a lot less food which has made me conscious that I might not be getting the nutrition in that I need but I'm already pretty much at my goal weight now. I was going to lose a little bit more but I feel like sometimes that's where people go wrong with weight loss is they get to a point they're happy with and then just keep sort of going because I set myself with an initial goal weight when I first started which is less than I am now by quite a lot but now my BMI is healthy, I feel good about myself, there's really like no reason to continue going just to be able to say that I hit my goal weight. So I'm just going to stop now and just focus on healthy lifestyle changes and just sustaining what I can to the best of my ability for the rest of my life now which is just I don't ever want to diet again I've said this to Paul this was my last get the weight off and then it's just about a healthy lifestyle once we're married whatever weight that looks like I'll be happy with but it was more just for the wedding day I wanted to be a little bit slimmer and yeah I am hoping to maintain this weight with just healthy lifestyle and exercise so so what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little bit of housework now. I need to tidy up the kitchen a little bit after that escapade and I've already done the dishes which is great. I love doing the dishes while something is baking because it means when it comes out you can just relax and enjoy it. So I'm just going to potter around the house, do a little bit of housework and then I might go out into the garden as well and tend to my seedlings. <laughs> Okay, so I've just put my fleece on. I'm gonna take you out into the garden now. I'm gonna do, try something a little bit different for this next section of the vlog. I'm gonna try and do like a montage, but I know I normally put music over it. I'm gonna put no music on and just listen to the natural sounds. It might feel a bit strange at first, but recently I have found this style of vlog on YouTube and they're called silent vlogs. And I don't think I could do whole videos on them but I would love to do like little sections of mindfulness of just listening to natural sounds. I've got a new water feature that I think I showed you in the last vlog but it wasn't set up so that's all set up. We have my bamboo wind chime, the wind is blowing, there's birds out and I just thought they are all lovely natural sounds that I would much prefer you listen to over some music for this next portion of the vlog so I really hope you enjoy it it's moments like this that I really wish I had a camera so that I could do more like artsy sort of sections in my vlogs but at the same time it's not worth me buying a camera for this YouTube channel at the moment and I also think that sometimes filming on your phone does give you that more sort of a laid back non-professional sort of approach to YouTube and they are the videos I personally really enjoy watching. So I'm going to go and take you outside now into the garden and let's just have some relaxing mindful time together.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed those clips of the garden. I feel really sleepy now. I only filmed a little bit of it, but I stayed out there for ages, just messing about with my seeds and my seedlings. If you are into slow living and you have a garden or even a balcony, I really recommend trying to plant some seeds. I didn't do a lot of research. I'm kind of just winging it and honestly like, I've been quite successful with quite a few things that have come up so I think sometimes you might worry that it's a bit complicated and think that you don't want to start it but I find it's so mindful and it's just so satisfying to see things grow and I really really recommend it so in this video so far I've recommended readings charity shops and gardening so how wholesome is that <laughs> so i'm going to end this vlog here i feel like it's long enough and i don't want you to start getting bored so i'm gonna end this vlog now but i really really hope you have enjoyed it please let me know what you thought about those more silent style clips of the natural noises if you enjoyed them i'll try and include them again if you have enjoyed this video then please don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you in my next one